Hey everybody, it's Hunter. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a frittata using some red onions, prosciutto, fresh tomatoes, basil from the garden, three cloves of garlic, six eggs, and a third a cup of milk. <laughs> Go ahead and start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and heating up an oven safe cast iron skillet on a medium to medium high heat. Of course, make sure to spray it down really, really well as everything will stick if you don't. <laughs> Mix up your six eggs and a third a cup of milk inside of a bowl or a glass or whatever you've got laying around in your kitchen and start by sauteing those onions for about one to two minutes here. You want them to get nice and golden but you don't want them brown. Add in the tomatoes and slowly stir until they start to wilt. Once they start to wilt just a little bit, turn the heat down to a medium because you don't want everything to burn. Stir in the tomatoes and then add the prosciutto in. The prosciutto has a lot of salt in it, you guys, so there's no need to add any extra salt into this dish. That prosciutto is gonna give you all the sodium you need. I promise you'll thank me later. <laughs> Once you stir the prosciutto around for about a minute, once it starts to get that nice golden-y, like oily flavor and look, add in that garlic the last minute. You don't want to put garlic in first because it has a tendency to burn and have a slightly bitter taste and nobody wants that. So pour in your egg mixture now, but don't let it start cooking before you stir everything around. Grab your spoon and stir it all around. That way it cooks evenly into the frittata and that way you can taste everything in every single bite. Duh, it's common sense. <laughs> After everything's stirred around, you're going to let that cook for about three to four minutes on the stove top, maybe up to five minutes, and then add that basil in last, pushing the basil down into the mixture. You want to push it down, that way it doesn't burn in the oven, and that basil cooks into the frittata and not just on top of the frittata. Do not skip this step. It's super important. <laughs> Go ahead and stick it in the oven now for about 10 minutes. I did 10 minutes and it came out perfect, so I definitely recommend doing that. And if you want to add any cheese or any extra spices at the end, I would definitely wait until the end to do that. Take it out of the oven and let it sit for one to two minutes to cool before you start cutting into it and enjoy. Feel free to put your own artistic and creative flair on this. It's amazing. You can do anything with frittatas. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and give me video ideas, you guys. I love cooking. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.